So the final part is these um, corners here. These corners are actually the centers of a Eitan star. The difference though is that the centers of a Eitan star were one color, so rotation didn't have any meaning. This one does have meaning and that's where things are going to get a little bit uh, maybe skewed. But what this algorithm is going to do so the way that this is going to work is you're going to be three cycling here to here, here to here, and here to here. So basically, we're going to be exchanging these guys, and this is going to come up to here. So let's see what, uh, what we have to do. Now in terms of orientation, you can guess the orientation based on if you just move it into position and see where it's supposed to be. So if we were to focus on, no, oh, it doesn't matter, uh, the green one here, green, yellow and orange, orange and yellow. See if we can find it. Hopefully something that's fairly close. Green, orange and yellow has gone missing. Aha! Green, orange and yellow is right here. So that's gonna find its way to here. Uh, so to get to here, if I, if I had to position it, it can't get in in this position over here, so I have to move it um, like away over here, so now it can. So now this can come into this position over here. So that'll go like so. However, you can see it's the wrong way. So what that means is I have to rotate this green where this yellow is. Uh, again, I'll, I'll still need breadcrumbs. Now I'll have to do the algorithm uh, twice. This will go here, this will go here, and this will go here, but what I could do you just plop this down to here, and then it'll go in, right? Uh, but bear in mind, this green, I know, has to go where the yellow is. So I'm going to move this down here. It'll be pretty apparent. However, I have to move the green where the, where the yellow is, so I'm just going to move it like so. So I know this blue is going to be my breadcrumb to get it back. So to do this algorithm, um, I'm going to start off on the opposite end here and go down down, up, up, then I'm going to take this, move it up to here, and then starting here, reversing it, going down, down, up, up, I just moved it twice, and I moved it up, so I'm going to move this down. So as you can see, this is now in. Let's follow our breadcrumbs back. This will come down to here, splat. And now this will come up to here, crunch. And this will come up over here. Uh, okay, so it's a little bit of a roundabout, but you see this is over here. So I'm, I, what I like to do is I like to just pick ones uh, and kind of put them in in order. So for instance, this guy comes over to here, so it's going to be the same kind of thing. If I move this guy to... Well, it can't move in from this angle. Uh, it's going to have to come up to here like this. Um, nope, actually, it's going to have to come over to here, or to here. So is there a quick, easy way that I can do this? If not, then I'll just move it randomly, like so, and then I can um, figure out where it's supposed to go from there. Um, so if I, if I move it up from here, it'll participate with this, if I use this to cycle it around. So this to here, this to here, and this to here. So eventually this is gonna come over to here. Is it gonna come over in the right angle? So again, this is a pretty easy breadcrumb to find my way back. If I turn this here, you can see it is the right angle. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that quick algorithm twice. And that'll move it to here and then to here. So we've got down, down, up. Up, we bring this up, and then down, down, up, up, and we bring it down. Once more, down, down, up, up, bring it up, and down, down, up, up, and bring it down. Now that we've done that, we just find a breadcrumb, which is here, and go splat. And now this is in. What's fun about working these algorithms out is you almost have to take it almost by faith that it's going to work. Uh, so this guy can come over to here, and as you can see, it's far enough away to where it can come into position. But you can see that this 
uh, gray has to go where the screen is. So if I hold it here, doing it twice will move it into here, but I'm going to take this gray and move it to the where the green is. Now do it twice and I should be able to get it into here. So we've got uh, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, and down. And again, down, down, up, 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 and down, down, up, up, and down. Okay, follow the breadcrumb back, and you can see that now these three are in. So luckily there aren't as many of these corner slash centers as the others, so it doesn't take quite as much. So I'm just going to keep doing it. Uh, that way I'll show a couple other examples. This one goes to here, and let's see how quickly we can do that. Okay, so is this where it needs to be? Well, uh, no, it's got to be here. So what if I just move it somewhere else? Uh, here? Okay. So this will work over here. The issue is that i got to make sure that these guys don't participate in the algorithm. Um, this is already in, so I'm hesitant to take that out. Why would I do that? So, let's see... Okay, over here. This this can participate over here. Um, popping it up here. This has to rotate. So, this is good because this will come to here. I just have to know to turn the green to the where the pink is. Alright, so I know that this needs to go to here. I just have to remember to turn the green where the pink is. But we don't want this to participate in the algorithm, so what we can do is we can just take this, keeping our pink as our breadcrumb, so to speak, bring it down to here. Um, well, don't want to get lost here. So yeah, I'm going to take this, bring it down to here. If I bring it down to here, bear in mind where the pink is, this is going to participate in it. So my final thing that I have to do is once again turn the green where the pink is. So it works, so green where the pink, bang. So I'm going to let this beige be my breadcrumb. Um, and we do it twice. So we've got down, down, up, up, this comes up, and then down, down, up. Up, and this comes down. And again, down, down, up, up, comes up, down, down, up, up, and this comes down. Okay, the beige one guided us here. That's our breadcrumb there. This red will guide us here, and this will take us right over here. Okay. Did we do good? Sure, this is all in. Um, now the green one, the last green one is here. This is in a nice position to do what? Yep, and I don't even have to switch it. Uh, this, will, this will participate. So we can either move this out of the way or maybe just move this. All these are being used, but maybe I can move this. Okay, yeah, I can move this out of the way over here. So once again, do it twice. Down, down. Up, 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 down, down, up, up, down. So it's over here. Do it again. Down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down. Breadcrumb will take this back. So we've got all this in. So we are getting there. Um, what I like to do is just start filling these guys in, so just as an example of that. Um, but this guy to come over to here, which would be fine. It even likes that position. And this uh, doesn't uh, participate, well it does, but it's not in yet. Uh, what I could do is, rather than do it twice, once I bring it here, is let's just bring it down here. Uh, it'll be in the right configuration because I didn't do any twisting of it, so this will end up over here. So we've got down, down, up, 
up, up, down, down, up, up, and down. Pop this back on. And of course, you have to bring this back up. So now this is in. To those who didn't modify this puzzle, how the heck did you get this to work? Uh, you see the struggling that I'm doing with it even after modifying it, so it's not perfect. It's better. It's a, it's a doable puzzle, but boy, do they put out a product that was a little um, shallow. That was a little, well, not ideal. Anyway, so this to here. So yeah, this can come into here. It's even rotated the right way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to move this down to here. This will participate in it, but that's not in a particularly good spot. Anyway, so now this will pop up to here. So down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up. And I could go down, but I'd end up just putting it back up again. So that's it. Silver, beige, and pink. We're gonna put this, we're gonna put this over here. So as I move it up like so, we can see it's even rotated correctly. So, so far so good. Now, could I position it to where it'll go where we want it to go? Well, if I go like this, splat, then it will. So this will go here, this will go here, and this will go here. So that's another way that you can do it. We don't want this to participate in it, so let's put a dummy one in, which is this red, white, and blue. Clink. So our breadcrumb is gonna have to be this beige to come down to here. But at the end of the day, this will end up over here. So we've got down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, beige breadcrumb, was our first one. This puzzle wants so much to fall apart, but I won't let it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Good, 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 good. Now, how about this guy? Red, blue, and pink. Red, blue, and pink right over here. So this wants to come into here. So we'd hold it like this. Uh, as you can see, this isn't rotated right. The blue has to go where the pink is. So what I can do is, if I wanted to move it in here with just one turn of the algorithm, I would just turn this over here. Without making the puzzle destroy itself right over here. And the good news is, this doesn't really participate. Uh, this will participate in the algorithm, but we don't really care. Um, and just to refresh my memory, the blue has to go where the pink is. Blue goes where the pink. So I'm going to take this, move it up to here. We don't worry about this. And then I'm going to turn the blue where the pink is, because splat. My breadcrumb will, will be the, the screen one. One turn of the algorithm should do it. So we've got down, down, up, up, up. And then <laughs> down, down, up, up, and then down. Remembering our breadcrumbs here, turn this to here, and then turn this up so you can see just how close we're getting. So we've got all these guys in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start hitting these guys, but uh, honestly, I, I could just start putting in as you know whatever I can. There doesn't have to be a particular order to it. I just like doing this order first to sort of get it out of the way. Okay, so pink, red, and beige. Pink, red, and beige is right over here. This will come up to here. I don't even have to move it or turn it or anything. So it'll be set up like this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this into position over here. Now this guy's going to participate, but we don't want it to. So let's move something else in. Namely, this guy. This is going to be my breadcrumb to lead me back home. And so now this will end up over here. 
down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down. All right, this leads me to here, it leads me to here. So not too difficult of a step, and you can see the positioning and repositioning is not too bad. Uh, silver, blue, and beige, right over here. Um, now, what do we have to do in terms of positioning? Well, I can move it here, which means that this can come into here and I don't even have to rotate it, so that's good. If I hold it over here, then that's the case. Uh, however, let's take this piece and move it over to here so that one turn of the algorithm will do it. So, Kersplat. Um, now, bear in mind, you, you may see that I'm doing a lot of movements, but it's going to be easy to find my way back at any given moment. I just have to have a breadcrumb to tell me where to go. So we don't want this to participate in the algorithm. This guy is not solved yet, so I just go splat. So this blue will be an obvious breadcrumb to get my way back. One turn of the algorithm should do it. Down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, and down. Okay, this came over to here. This can come over to here. This can come over to here. Well, like this. So you can see these two are out. Uh, now, what you're going to notice is this has to go clockwise. This has to go counterclockwise. So clockwise and counterclockwise. And that's what you're going to see. If you see that something like that's going on, you didn't cause a corner twist, you did fine. So what you're going to do is put the two that have to go out in a configuration that you can do the algorithm. In this case, this can move to here. So if I hold it over here, then these are going to uh, participate with that. And all you've got to do is bearing in mind that this one, just remember this one does not have to be turned. Let's take this and turn it in the direction that it's supposed to be. So this is supposed to be here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move it to where this is in this spot. So we're going to go here and here, and this will go here and here. So we're going to do the algorithm twice. When we do that, we're then, once this is in this spot, the other one that has to turn, we're then going to turn this back, and that'll get everything back. So we're going to do the algorithm twice. Down, down, up, up, bring it up, down, down, up, up, and bring it down. Uh, okay, now we do it once more. Again, bearing in mind, this is not the one that had to change. So we've got down, down, up, up, bring it up, down, down, up, up, and bring it down. Okay, so now what we do is we reconfigure things. I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna move it back its proper configuration over here. And now we do the algorithm once more. These have been properly rotated. And we go down, down, up, up, bring it up, and down, down, up, up, and bring it down, and that'll fix it. So it's really as simple as that. If you find that one is out, something got messed up, eh, don't worry about it, just click it back in. And that's it. That's how to solve Virgo's pentagram, and that is, I think, probably the fourth or fifth Eitens star type, well, fourth or fifth face-turning icosahedron that I've solved. One more yet to go, actually, and that's this guy over here. Dare we do it? Shall this one be next? This radio cube three, cubic transformation of a radial area three. Well, time will tell. Thanks for watching.